Once it goes in the ditch, it goes in the creek, and when it rains hard, it washes out of the rice field into the river and straight to the ocean. This is some, some plastic that I collected in five minutes. We have lots of plastic that we don't know how to recover because we don't want to damage the coral. Nobody wants to go to the beach and have trash around. Nobody wants the animals to eat trash and then we eat the animals. There's that study of more plastic than fish in the oceans by 2050. That's in our lifetime. What are we going to do about it? I was in it, traveling in Asia, the world population's grown. A lot more products are packaged in, in plastic and they're exported around the world and these countries don't have the capacity to handle it. And I was really upset, especially in Bali, which was such an amazing place, to see all the trash there and not really anyone doing much about it. And I thought, hmm, what, what can we do to highlight these, this impact? I really think that getting people engaged and focusing on where the stuff comes from, which is the rivers, is a really important aspect that we haven't, as a globe, started focusing on yet. It's much easier to catch it when it's going one direction, the two river banks or a creek bank. Uh, than when it gets out in the open sea. And, and it's not that hard to be able to stop stuff coming down the rivers if we focus it on it in the right way. We're on the macro side of getting the big stuff that people still haven't got yet. Big areas of trash is because that is the global alert. That needs to get fixed. So this is the Global Alert app. It can be downloaded for free on uh, both app stores. The tagline is see, share, solve. So you see something, you geotag it, take a photo, share it, and then you solve it together in that community or other people can solve it based on your information. So it only takes less than a minute to, um, to catalog and, and uh, add to the database with with um, these different sites. The more points there are, the more chances that some stakeholder in that town or community, whether he's a, he or she works for an NGO, whether the university, the tourism office, the water supplies department, they can say, oh wow, this is interesting. I can sit in my computer and see where people are finding these hotspots. Then we want people to say, hey, let's, how can we stop that? A simple net, a simple piece of bamboo on a small creek, uh, a fence line. These things don't have to stop fish. They don't have to be designed to stop boats. Through some uh, regular maintenance uh, of the boom, uh, it managed to solve some of the problem. Setiap hari lebih kurang dalam 100 sampai 200 kilogram lah. It's a very different, powerful dynamic to have a discussion with those stakeholders and say, hey, this is real, and it's visual. I mean, we can clean it, a school can go clean it, but let's figure out how to prevent it also so it doesn't keep coming. And that's what the hope is for this. It's a good way to keep track of the problem and, and we can use this data to, to monitor it and hopefully um, concentrate on the most problematic areas and see where they are.